Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm down at the storage yard again and I thought I'd do another caravan Sunday tinkering video. I've got a few little jobs to do on the caravan which I want to share with you. And also, uh, I want to discuss a couple of things that I uh, read on social media that gave me uh, quite concern, which I would like to share with you, just so you don't make these mistakes. And also, why have I got a bottle of teacup with me? Let's go and check the video out. So as in previous videos, I get plenty of comments and I ask, have questions asked. And one question that was asked is by Steve and he said, how do you get inside the awning rail and give it a good clean? Well, there is a tool on the market, which is this. I'll just stand closer so you can see it. Hope it focuses in. That is an awning rail brush. And to be honest, I think they're rubbish. Um, they don't always fit all awnings and to be quite frank, they bend as well so I don't bother using that anymore in fact it's rubbish I'll throw it away what I do use is this and this is a, a very fine brush it's quite stiff bristled and you can see how thick that is it's very fine now I bought a pack of two I think they were about five quid I, I could be wrong but I will leave a link to them because I got them off Amazon now I'm using one at the moment this is my new one uh, I kept this deliberately just to show you um, what they're like and I'll show you how they work in the awning rail now so when I'm using any brush uh, in the awning rail I always like to start where there's an opening like this insert it like so and you can use this side to side and it'll clean the inside of your awning rail perfectly it's better than the one that they actually sell uh, as a purpose awning rail but this for me is probably one of the best so the one thing i want to address is this on social media i spotted a thread where some people that were relatively new to caravanning were asking is it okay if i tow with the cistern full of water and from a safety point of view the answer really is no you should never leave the system full you should always drain it down because if it's full it's going to hold between 17 and 18 litres of water and a litre equates to a kilo which is adding up to 18 kilos worth of weight to the back of the caravan especially if it's the, the loose here like mine is uh, Yes, all right, if it's centre, uh, it may displace it, but nonetheless, you're still adding up to 18 kilos worth uh, of weight to your payload. And at the rear, it's gonna push this in the wind and make its way, and it's gonna be make it very unsafe to tow and a nightmare with its handling as well. So my top tip is always drain down your cistern and always empty your cassette before you set off home. So one of the things I want to tackle is this. I've got a scratch on the window and it looks like I've brushed against a tree going past a hedge or something and caused a minor scratch. And there's a few little squirrel scratches as well on it, which is not like me. Um, and I want to get rid of this. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to wash the window and make sure I get rid of any grit and deposits on the window before I start tackling the scratch. So I'll just quickly get on with that now. So I can hope you can see that a little bit better, I've repositioned the camera, but there's the scratch. What I'm going to be using is tea cut. So I'm just going to put a little bit on a dry, soft microfiber cloth. Now make sure that you do this um, with a clean, dry window, because otherwise it won't work. And you'll be polishing grit into it as well. And what we need to do is really work at this. Now I've concentrated primarily on the centre of the scratch and I've worked my way outwards. Now I've worked that in now for quite a while. Let's dry it off. Wipe it off, sorry, with a, a damp cloth, a dry cloth, sorry. And as you can see, and that has gone. I am happy with that. Very pleased. So that took no time at all. Now what I will do is uh, off camera when uh, I finish this video, I'm going to actually uh, do the whole of the window as well. And I think I've got another one somewhere else as well that I need to do, but that has now gone and it looks like new. So minor scratches, get yourself some tea cut. Don't bother with the, all these fancy scratch removing things because half of them don't work. Uh, something old fashioned like that will do it and it's cheap. 
So the next thing I want to uh, tackle is the drip plate on this uh, locker. What happened, uh, I was cleaning it the other week and I noticed that the seal or the double-sided tape that bonds it had actually started to uh, shrink and little holes were starting to appear. And I thought I'd better nip that in the bud before it shrinks too much and then we get water ingress underneath the bed. So I'm going to be using this. This is MS60. It's a uh, industry strength. Uh, adhesive and sealant and most of the uh, caravan dealers when they're repairing your caravan will use this. You can use Sikaflex as well but uh, this one has come highly recommended. Also it was mentioned by uh, Paul Cuddington on a previous video uh, where he had been given a tube by his local dealers uh, just as a spare. Um, so I bought this myself, I'll leave a link to where I bought it from and this comes highly recommended so we're going to give it a whirl. So uh, let me uh, show you how I'm going to uh, do the seal on this. So that's that one done. So I've done the top part, I'm going to go all the way around it and also the others as well off camera. But I'm really pleased with this stuff. I'll, I'll show you a way of protecting this and stopping it going off as well. Okay, so here's my tip. If you're using any of these tubes, uh, silicon, uh, adhesive, whatever, I always like to remove this and discard it because them caps that go on the top that screw in, they don't really seal and to be honest they're rubbish. So for the sake of losing a little bit in the tube I just discard that and what I tend to do is I get a little bit of cling film and I fit it over the end like so and a while ago I was on eBay and I spotted these and they're a thread with a seal on the end and what I do is I just simply twist that on tighten it up so it gives a nice seal and that will protect it and keep it ready for the next next uh, use you just have to use a new uh, tip but that is my tip for saving on uh, silicon tubes and uh, adhesive tubes like this so a few weeks ago I saw a thread on uh, social media and someone was going to be thinking of purchasing some metal trestles and using a board so that they could climb up and reach the roof and I thought that was uh, a bit of a death trap really. If you're, if you're going to actually be doing it at your storage yard and you're using these trestles it's very uneven, you can see the, the ground here, it's very uneven and it's full of stones so them trestles are not really going to be secure no matter how heavy the board is that you put on to stand on and it could actually uh, you know you could actually fall off and I'd be really uh, concerned about that so I actually said look the best way to do it really is to get yourself a ladder put some foam insulation on the edge of the ladder so it doesn't damage the caravan and preferably secure it to the awning rail or another part of the caravan so that it doesn't move and slip and that for me is the only way unless you've got a gantry of course to clean the caravan roof safely well folks that's another caravan tinkering video uh, completed I'll probably be doing one or two more as we go through the season but I'd like to thank you for dropping by Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget, thumbs ups really do count. And if you've got any ideas, please leave them in the comments. Thanks very much. Bye for now.